Hi, this is Joan, and I hope you're having a great day, and that it just gets better as we continue on. Uh, you're looking at Luke 23, 28 through 33, and here the Savior gave a direct command to the women who were following him and weeping. Now, if you notice, he said, oh, let me just read it. Luke 23, 28 through 33. But Jesus, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming, in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Now I'm starting with this, because I want to start including a lot of information that does exactly what the Savior said to do. He said, weep for yourselves and for your children. So if there are any people out there who are looking at my videos, I'm very grateful for you to do so. But recognize that I'm following what the Savior said to do. So if you have an issue with my speaking about the issues that black women have, well then take it up with him because I'm following him and I'm doing what he said to do. Now, if he had said, hey, brothers of Jerusalem, cry for yourselves, or women of Jerusalem, don't cry for yourselves, cry for your men, that's what I'd be doing. But that's not what he said. He said, weep for yourselves and for your children. So that is what I'm doing. And this is an article from Medical Express, and it came out today, August 9th. And it says racial discrimination linked to increased inflammation among black women with systemic lupus erythematosus study finds. New research from the black women's experiences living with lupus be well study has revealed that racial discrimination is a distinct health threat that heightens the risk of disease among black Americans. The research focused on black women with systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, an inflammatory autoimmune disease, sheds lights on the detrimental effects of psychosocial stress on health and the role of infl inflammatory mechanisms. The study was published in the journal Brain, Behavior, and Immunity. Over a two-year study, B over a two-year period, the Be Well study examined incident experiences of social discrimination and changes in the inflammatory biomarker C-reactive protein, CRP, a protein made by the liver that increases when there is inflammation in the body, among 380 participants from metropolitan Atlanta, Georgia. The study, which enrolled participants from April 2015 to May 2017, utilized the experiences of discrimination measure to assess racial discrimination by annually through self-report. CRP levels were measured annually. The findings of the study revealed a significant association between incident racial discrimination and elevated CRP levels throughout the two-year study period. The increase in CRP levels was substantial with each domain of racial discrimination experienced ex resulting in a nearly 4% rise. This study contributes to the growing body of evidence on the biological consequences of racial discrimination, said Dr. Tamika Wedge Deteich, a rheumatologist and Deputy Head of Admissions and Enrollment Academic for the University of Queensland Ushner Clinical School. Understanding how racial discrimination compromises health and, infl and inflammatory pathways is crucial in our pursuit of more equitable and just outcomes for our communities. The study's findings provide valuable insights into the racial inequities observed in outcomes for Black women with diseases driven by inflammatory pathways. By highlighting the role of racial discrimination in exacerbating health disparities, this research underscores the urgent need for targeted interventions and policies to address systemic racism and promote health equity. 
as racial discrimination continues to pose a significant health threat to Black Americans, it is imperative that health care providers, policymakers, and communities work together to dismantle systemic barriers and create a more inclusive and just society. This study serves as a call to action urging stakeholders to prioritize the elimination of racial discrimination and its detrimental effects on health. So, uh, basically, this is calling to attention something that we haven't, that hasn't really been discussed as much as it should have, and that is the effects of racial discrimination on women. We have, for at least the past hundred years or so, as African Americans focused solely on black men with the ideal that they were being more discriminated against than black women. However, black men have a asset that black women don't have, and that is being male in a male dominated society. So it's great to recognize that the men of the group, the African American group, go out into the world and face discrimination, but it is also just as important to recognize so do the women. So, and it's not just the men who need to recognize this, it's the women also, because there are many black women who really do believe that we are like super, super beings, and we're not, we're humans like anyone else. And in some ways we're more vulnerable and that the two groups that are most discriminated against, we happen to be members of both, and that is being black and being female. So. I think that it is very important to remember what the Savior said to do, that's cry for yourselves. And when you're crying for yourself, you're also automatically crying for any children who come from you. There is a book that you might find helpful, and it's called Being Whole. And basically with everything going on in the world, it can be hard to feel connected to ourselves, whether it be mentally, physically, or spiritually. And you can also make the mistake of comparing yourselves to others, which also doesn't really help. So let me read the details of this book and how it can help you. Okay, if you've been feeling run down with your health physically, mentally, or spiritually, you might be wondering what you can do to get back on your feet and feel whole again. Life's troubles can lead us down different paths than what we had imagined for our lives. But that does not mean we aren't capable of making changes to make our lives better. The main goal of this book, Being Whole, means you need complete control of your health and life. But how is that done? It can be simpler than you think. When you break it down into steps and actions, you can concentrate on every day. This ebook has been put together to concentrate on the life actions and steps you can take to being whole and becoming your true self. With this ebook, you can begin to take practical actions to achieve the life and self you've always wanted. With this book, while this book might not have all the answers for you, your unique situation, you can use it as a guide to bring you through a life-altering journey. It will also help you overcome your personal demons and teach you how to rely on faith to help you through life's most difficult challenges. Find this book on my website, the Urban Wellness Counseling Center, and it is under Urban Wellness eBooks. And it is one of several other books that I'm offering eBooks that can help you. Specifically, I'm speaking to Black women, but actually, this is helpful for everyone. So, you guys, if you have any questions or concerns, Please, please contact me with any questions or concerns, which you can do through the website or through just commenting. And I do truly appreciate all of your comments and just your watching. It means a lot because I do believe that the Savior gave a direct command. It wasn't a suggestion when he said, cry for yourselves. And I think that it is us also a marker that everything that's done in the dark is coming to the light. 
and that we're beginning to recognize the importance of women starting with Eve all the way to the present. What you, what happens to you as a black woman or as someone who loves a black woman or came from a black woman or knows a black woman, what black women go through, what we endure, what we accomplish, all of it matters. It's, it's not superfluous. It's not unimportant. It matters. You matter. Remember that. And you guys take care.